Jank Odo moment. Team Galactic Grunts you saw there in a double battle. When we beat them, they are supposed to be like the best of the Grunts. Of all the Grunts. So boss says dot dot dot. Now, all will end and everything will begin. With this red chain, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. Dialga, the mythical Pokemon and the Master of Time. What's going on? Oh man. This will bring all about, this will bring about the destruction of all things. With everything gone, there will be no, no fighting and no strife. Can you feel time distorting? Only I can choose to stop it. This is the mythical Pokemon that created Sinnoh. Dialga, the ancient entity of time. Grab. This world cannot be molded into the ultimate world I seek. It is far easier to create an entirely new world that to, than to change this one. A new world in which I the, am the ruler of all things. I shall become identity I gotta put a stop to this come on ah let me throw there's no need to rush I can understand you want to battle our boss real bad but you'll have to go through me first after all you've made me look bad more times than I can care to remember I've beaten you twice Mars Jeez. and Jupiter says I will be and I'll be next you might be tough but this time the gloves are coming off hey look at Sam hold on one second don't start the party without me. Hmm. Well, isn't it the little boy who ran off crying at Lake Aquity? Did you get tougher since any tougher since then? We'll beat you two on two. Yeah, the funny thing is we have like six Pokemon each. Well, me and Cody have six Pokemon each. So we have 12 Pokemon we can use in this battle. They only have six combined. So we definitely have the advantage here. We have 12 Pokemon compared to their six. So... Yeah, I was right. Start off with the fire type because they both have bronze ores. Okay, I'm gonna assume that these bronze ores have levitate and not heat proof. So yeah, I remember them not having heat proof, so they have levitate most likely. Let's use a flamethrower and the left bronze ore. Oh yeah, I'm trying to go for us, baby. Now um, your rifle will start off with a Montrax level 40. It really doesn't do much. It has like stockpile and swallow and. I mean, I mean a couple offense moves I guess not I guess there's one offense move other than that but like it's really just it's not a really good Pokemon to start out with because like it's gonna get pummeled if, it's, if you're not careful if, and it, yeah. yeah you can actually attack your arrival's own Pokemon for some reason like you can always do that for some reason and then double battle with the character in this game it's kind of weird use a screech Munchrox just screech though okay Gonna go for the gold bet, okay. Um, what I want to do right here is knock out the other bronze wood because I can. I have two other Pokemon that can deal with the gold bat. That, those being uh, Jetta because Ice Beam. Jetta knows Ice Beam, and then uh, of course Bronze because he you knows Psychic. Or he knows Psychics. He you knows Psychic, I should say. So there goes the other bronze wood. Just attack the right bronze wood. This battle really isn't that hard. I mean, if you have your type advantages and if you're high, you know, you have a little bit more level or at the same level as these Pokemon that they're sending out, you'll be fine. Inferno can no longer escape because of mean look. Okay. Okay, Munchak is going to screech again to lower its defense. Which, um, yeah, I wanted to lower its special defense though because I'm using special attacking moves. And I don't want to use close combat because it'd be four times um, not a very effective on it. But actually, I can use close combat on Peregui now. So I'm going to do that. 
Uh, oh, probably using aliens. Okay, good. It wasn't on Inferno. Good, because that would have been super effective then. Thank you for taking the hit, Montrax. It took over half its HP because it's the critical hit, of course. It's good for the close combat, though. Let's knock out that per ugly. It's level 45. Per ugly knows Aerois, and I'm pretty sure the st skunk tank of Jupiter's knows Flamethrower, so keep that in mind because they kind of cover the weaknesses in some cases. So, yeah. There goes per ugly. I totally one shot it with Inferno. Nice. Okay. Air cutter, okay. Um, that's gonna hit both of us. So Inferno is definitely going to go on the yellow for HP, and in the red, ooh, okay. And then Munchox might go, uh, Munchox is actually tanky, cool. Oh, and his body slam is his other offensive move, that's cool. It does, it does, it does, wow, it did almost, it almost fainted the whole goal bat. So what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to knock out this goal bat with the flame wheel, just so it's out of the way. And taken down, you know. There we go. Yeah, Inferno good level 44. Jeez. So it's air cutter. Oh, but Inferno avoided the attack, but poor Munchrax didn't. Okay. Munchrax might go down. Oh, hanging on by the skin of our teeth, as the guy in Pokemon Stadium would say when it's that close to almost fainting. Yeah. I guess the skunk tank, yeah. Skunk tank's a big skunk, I guess. Um, yeah, let's go for the fire blast on skunk tank. It might miss, but I want to just. Oh, good, it hit. Awesome. I just wanted to take a chance and just do some damage on it. This probably won't faint it, but um, it'll get a really good dent in it, I guess. See, I put it all the way in the red, so that's good. Oh, and citrus berry, okay. That's cool. Yeah. Is poison fang on Inferno? Okay, Inferno might go down though. Yeah, Inferno put up a good fight though. I'm surprised Sam still with has his his Munchlax, and I spoke too soon. Now Munchlax is down. So we fainted like three or four of their Pokemon already, and um, at least three of them. Sure, sure. The two Bronzors, the Perugly, the Golbat. So that's like four Pokemon right there. Um, one of the Golbats at least. Yeah. Um. So we did we did really good for what we did um, to these two commanders. So um, who am I gonna send out? I'll send out Bronze, I guess, just so I can get Psycho off of the um, Golbat. So something worth doing, I guess. Yeah, let's get, someone's gonna send out Star Raptor next, okay? So I finally buffed the Star Avian to Star Raptor. That's pretty cool. Let's go for the Psych on the gold bat then. So, Scrapter tank down. It missed, okay. That's okay. Don't confuse her. Yeah, confuse her with the Staraptor. Dang it, you confused her with me. You seem, you confused Bronze. Dang it, I want to just get a Psychic off. Now it's going to be harder to get. Oh, I forgot the Skunk Tank had Flamethrower. See, it's covering its weaknesses, even though, like, it's poison dark types so of Psychic type moves won't be, doesn't affect it at all. Okay, um, hopefully Bronze can, uh, hit this thing, hit the Golbat, oh my gosh, this is bad, this is just not, well, it's not bad, it's just, it's really annoying, because that Golbat could have been fainted by now, most likely, but, you know, okay, Staraptor's gonna use the Close Combat on the Skunk Tank, it should knock it out, I'm guessing, there we go, cool, now if I can just knock out this Golbat, and do my part, that'd be great, wait, the Skunk Tank hasn't been knocked out yet, it's like, lived by like, one HP, are you kidding me? And it's gonna use flame throw on Bronze again. Oh my gosh. Uh, talk about covering your weaknesses, Skunk Tank. Come on. All because I was confused. It couldn't affect. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's it. I'm gonna send out Jetta. I'm gonna Ice Beam your butt, you stupid Golbat. Because the Skunk Tank's almost done. So I'm gonna Ice Beam the Golbat now. Hopefully. They'll faint it, but I'll probably put it in the yellows, honestly, because I don't get. Jetta doesn't get the same type of attack bonus with Ice Beam. Yeah, it puts it in the yellows. So, one more Ice Beam should do it. If Disruptor can take down the Skunk Tank like that, using the move Takedown, what a coincidence. Then, we got this battle in the bag, really, because all that's left is like the Golbat, I'm pretty sure. Don't use conf Confuser on Staraptor, okay. Yeah, thank you. Because I can finish this battle off with an Ice Beam, using Jetta's Ice Beam. So that's what I'm going to do. 
Ice Beam that Golbat. And I'm faster than everyone on the field so far, so ha! Vegeta gets the attack first. And there we go, the Golbat's down. Yeah, we beat Team Rock to Commander Mars and Jupiter. Sheesh, I should have done the fighting myself. That wouldn't have helped, actually. Hmm, you toughened up, but you're no match for our boss. Oh, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Huh, my Pokemon are tough, right? <laughs> my Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even strong tougher. But, you know, that's it for us. We we hit the wall. We've hit the wall. Steven, I'll help you with this. Heals up all your Pokemon HP-wise and PP-wise. So it's really nice of Cody to do, uh, Stam to do that. Your rival to do that. Full healed Steven's Pokemon. Okay, Sam full healed Steven's Pokemon. Okay. Hey, that's it. It's your show now. He runs off. Okay. There's a... Okay, um, Dialga, uh, you sure you want to do that? Oh, Dialga, this is fantastic, beautiful. It's the creation of my uh, a new galaxy, my new world. Okay. Oh man, I've seen, I've heard that music before. What? Yuxi says poof. Mishpit says poof. Yasuf says poof. There we go. Thank you for doing that. That was very nice of you guys to come up and save the day, I guess. Or help save the day. Oh, here's Miss Britt. She's saying hi to me. And then she goes off. Okay. Now, Cyrus isn't very happy. He says that he's a Metal Gear. He's talking to Metal Gear Solid, guys. Metal Gear Solid language. Uh, the Red Chain, it crumbled away to nothing? But why? Why would Miss Britt, the... Misprit the Pokemon of Lake Verity appear by your side because I rescued their butts and saved them. I don't know, maybe that's why. But you'll never, but never mind that. It's all destroyed. My galaxy is gone. I won't allow this. I will capture those three again and craft another red chain. That's very mean of you to do that. <laughs> I'm going to put a stop to that right now, actually. But before I even think about that, I'm going to completely crush you. Okay, so I have, um,. Inferno up front, so like you can't even switch out your Pokemon or get prepared for this battle But your Pokemon are full heal, but you just start off with basically the same Pokemon you start off with when you fought um, Team Galactic Mars, Com Com Commander Mars, and Commander Jupiter with your rival So yeah, Honchkrow versus uh, Infernape Okay, yeah, Inferno um, Let's go for the Flamethrower, I kind of don't want to switch out actually I want to see if I can take down this Honchkrow I should be able to so, Honchkrow is level 45 though, so It's going to be pretty tough yeah, they did half, okay. Jewel pack, oh man, this is gonna hurt, it's super effective. Uh, it does about half for me, over half, right? Okay, I think I can still knock this thing out. Oh, super potion, dang it. Yeah. Okay, the fun throw again, okay. And then I won't faint it probably, once I get a critical hit, that'd be nice. There we go. Aw, oh, man, what help. Okay, let's go for the flame wheel then. It's faster than the Hunchka. Cool. The flame, throw, the flame wheel should faint it. There we go. So that Hunchka wasn't too hard to take down. It just gave me the trouble at the start with the drill pack. So yeah. Um, Gyarados. Okay, um, I don't have any much that Pokemon, so this might be a little harder. Um, who should I switch to? Um, I'm thinking I'll switch to bronze. You psyche on a couple times, I don't know. But Gyarados is going to be a hard one to take down. So 45, okay. Yeah, intimidate, yeah. Good thing I'm using a special attacking move. Ha, huh? joke's on you. Giga Impact, oh shoot. Wait, that's a normal type Pokemon. Normal type move, isn't it? Yes, cool. That's not very effective. And next turn, I think you have to recharge too. Just like another free psychic off of you after that. Hopefully this does at least half. Nope, it doesn't. But I ordered special defense, which is good. So I'm gonna use psychic again. Yeah, it must recharge. Cool. Okay. Two more psychics should do it. Jeez, you get impact again. Which does is not very effective on bronze, so you can do that all, all you want really. Bronze is just a tank right now. So jokes on you, Cyrus. Team Galactic boss Cyrus. I wonder if I can get a critical hit here. 
Oh, nice. I didn't even need a critical hit. I painted already. Nice. So almost level 43. Weavile's next. Um, let's go to... Let's go to... Inferno again and hopefully I'm faster than it and I can probably paint it with a close combat. If not, I can use um, my other Pokemon, I guess, to paint it. So yeah, this Weavile is level 47. Okay, level 48 actually. Pressure will make me um, have four more, uh, four more close combats left. Okay, fine. I'll paint this Weavile some other way then. Let's use, um, what can we use? Also, that Drago. I don't think this Weavile has any Ash type moves. If it does, that kind of sucks for me. But, we're gonna see what we can do. Okay, how much does Dragon Claw do? It's gonna use Brick Break on us, okay. Got half, are you kidding me? This Weavile is going to be the hardest one to faint though, of this Pokemon. Oh my gosh, um... Let me switch over to my decor Pokemon back, so it can take a hit for me, you know? It's been able to help me to get through Mount Cornet, but it's going to help me in battle right now, being a decoy. Let's use Exorcist, okay. So I hope it- I'm mean, still probably fainted still, yeah. So, that kind of sinks. Okay, so let's go to, um, see a Brick Break, the X Scissors, um, let me check, I mean, I can try Karen, let's try Karen, actually. So let's use, uh, Aerius, I guess. It does know a nice type move, shoot. <laughs> Dang it. I might have to revive Inferno because Infernos are the only thing that can uh, take this thing out. Yeah, one hit KO, of course. Okay. Well. I guess I know Jetta to stall, I guess, and just use a max revive on Inferno then. Because this Weavile is just no, not joking around, really. Status healers, uh, max revive. I have two of them, so yeah. Six so max revive Inferno. I didn't want to try to. I didn't want to really revive any Pokemon in this battle, but it looks like I have to kind of because it's being a, this Cyrus is kind of being a jerk right now, you know. And Ice Punch does that much, okay. Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. Let me go back to my bag. Let's go for the Surf. It's probably not gonna be very effective, but we can try it. Are you kidding me? Night Slash freaking took out Jetta. Okay, that's it. You, you're asking for it, Weavile. You are so asking for it. Let's go for the close combat then. Let's get this brick break on us. Hope this doesn't faint us. It could, because this thing a, has a lot of attack, you know. But luckily it didn't. Cool. Close combat then. I should faint the Weavile. There we go. Yeah, my yeah, Inferno has special defense and defense falls, but that's okay. That's okay, we beat the Weavile. What's your fourth and final Pokemon then? Crobat. Hmm. Um, let's go to Bronze then. And just in case, I'm gonna heal up bronze, so I'm gonna have to take a turn and heal. Uh, I admit you had to push me to this extreme. Yeah, I did. I did have to push you to this extreme. Each pure store is, um, let's give him a... Let's give him a... I guess a super potion would work. This crowbat can't use any of its poison type moves on me because bronze is half steel type and steel types don't affect. Uh, poison types moves don't affect uh, steel types at all. So yeah, you're in a tough corner. I have Psychic. What do you have? Just a conf Oh, you have Confuse Ray. Oh man, I knew he had something annoying like that. Okay, that's cool, man. That's cool. 
Come on, Bronze, you can do it. Yeah, I got Psychic off of the Crobat now. This probably will take two hits, two Psychics to, yeah, faint. There we go. This Crobat's just level 46 and it's a really high level Crobat, so it's gonna take more than just one one hit, one Psychic to defeat it sometimes. And in this case, it just takes more than one Psychic. Aw, oh, Bronze flinched, are you kidding me? Don't use Bite again. Use, yeah, use Air Slash. It does, I know this won't faint Bronze for a fact. And there we go, let's hope the Psychic will hit then. Oh wait, we can, we're still confused, of course. Of course. And you, oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, I can st I can go one more turn without healing, but if I feel myself in confusion, it might be just enough to faint Bronze, but hopefully it's not. Bronze goes and uses a Psychic again, nice. So there goes the Crobat, this should faint the Crobat. Nice. There we go. Bronze could level 43. So in future sight. No thank you. I don't wanna I don't wanna win future sight or make bronze win future sight. Yeah. It's not really good of a move right now in the game anyway, really. I wish you wanna be strategic about it, but I'll just pass on it. I didn't know you uh you made me miss your dialogue. Thanks for the seventeen thousand two hundred and ninety pocket hours. That was doubled by um, you know, uh Karen's luck incense that I was held holding. In battle, and then pro oh, so many references. Metal Gear Solid, man. Okay, what is what is truly the ultimate? What is truly uh, the ultimate to you? Why? What do you consider perfection? The most important thing. What what shines the brightest? Telling you is meaningless. But I will not give up. I will become a identity one day, and I will make the unique, uh, make the unique mine, ultimate mine. Okay, cool. Hey, look, it's Professor D Rowan and Dawn. Um, Rowan says, they I'll get the Master of Time. It's impossible to tell if it is en enraged or saddened. But to me, Dialga appears to be wanting to, uh, for you, Stephen. It seems to be it seems to be challenging you as a test. Go on, Stephen. Face up to Dialga. Listen to its heart. Understand its thoughts. Dialga is out of control after being dragged out by the red chain and forced to use its power. Dialga seems to be entrusting you with stopping it. St uh, Dawn says, Stephen, I ran into Sam a little while ago. Um, he said he believed in you, Stephen. He said that he could, you could do the job, you could get the job done. I feel the same way. Please help that Pokemon. It's suffering from being dragged out by Team Galactic. Go on, Stephen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to pivot. Jeez, I mean to step back. Okay, I'm, I'm not full. I'm, I need to heal up actually. I'm gonna heal up my team a little bit, so I'm gonna do that real quick. So uh, let's see. I need three. I need three revives. So Jetta, and then one for Karen, and then one for uh, Beck. And if I know, we'll still need Beck, you know. So I'm gonna give Super Potion to Beck. You have a Moom Milk to Bronze. Give a Super Potion to Drago. Yeah, I'm gonna give a Potion to Drago too. There we go. More Moom Milk. Yeah, let's, let's actually give a Super Potion to Jetta. And a potion to Jetta as well. That's full healed. Okay, cool. Let's give a super potion to Inferno. And let's give a super, another super potion to uh, Karen. And finally, we can give a potion to Karen to keep it full, to have it full healed. There we go. Nice. So everyone should be full healed, all except for Karen. But that's only five HP, so that's okay. For the most part, full healed. So um, I'm gonna start with um, Inferno up front to, for fighting Dialga, but I am I'm gonna cut the part right here and end the part right here. So this is the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide part. The next part we'll take on Dialga, and I'll catch it because it's the legendary Pokemon. And I won't be trying to catch it in a Pokeball or anything fancy. I'm just gonna probably try to catch it.